painting as an art is quite a lucrative business worth millions of dollars. But hold it there, don't change your career plans yet. In Ghana, the story certainly is not the same. At the heart of hard economic conditions, everybody wants an attractive or white collar business. So we find out why in spite of so many economic challenges, people still put up and manage art galleries and art shops. Could it be really for the law of art? Come along and let's find out. On the Express for Street, one of the busiest in the capital and a very fast growing corporate and commercial business address. Some men put some little space, quite rare to get, and decided to sell artworks. How daring! But we asked if it's worth it. It's a, it's a busy place. Most people come to us for Street to so have fun. So they come and they see business that goes on. They purchase. I mean, people coming all over the world to buy dingy drums and crafts, buy some drums, take some drumming lessons. It's, 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 it's very good. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. <laughs> and I don't do anything else. What I do is that. So it pays. Of course, I have a friend in England that I shoot for dinner to me uh, every year, like two or three every year. And I've been doing that for like uh, four or five years since this. So it's a season, season, sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't come. People who normally buy my painting, they know me already because they've been hearing about me, both in and outside the country. A lot of the customers that they come here, they are from outside. Mostly the buyers are foreigners. So I have been getting some Ghanaian people who buy. They are lovers of art in Ghana as well, but they are not that much. Okay, the kind of painting that I bought is it, mostly they like a scene like uh, Marilyn and Child or at beach. You know, people are there with the vessel. Like, let's say a day I can earn 200. Another time it can be like 40, another time it can be like 20, another time it can be like empty, you know. But you have to keep on working, you know. Yes. For instance, this painting, you can see a painting of a lizard. It goes for 500 cities. What is the highest you've ever sold? 2,400. And also, this our work, work with like internet work you have to be online people have to know you from all over the world like they can trust you yes definitely i told you already i want to die painting so every single money i make i will want to invest into painting it's very good because i still want to do it and not also because i want to end the uh, something but it's a talent from God, you know, it's a vision from God and I, I like doing it. Yes, but they shouldn't get in because of money. They should get in because it's something I don't know how to explain it. It's life. Also to tell the people that they are interested in the art or they are talented by God gift to come to this world to you know do the art and craft that they think they might not end them anything, you know. It's very good because this business has taken me very far. I went to Switzerland with a lot of drums to sell. I took paintings there, I took bags there, I took a lot of things there. I have about six boxes that I took to Switzerland. So I sold, I sold all those things. Yeah, it was, it was selling at the festival. It was selling very, very, very good. Some of my works have been exhibited in New York, Italy, and Japan. Foundation, the Boys Center, Africa Region. I would advise investors to invest in the art and craft business because it's a very good business. And there's no way that you can lose in this business whereby when you set it up well, you have people outside, you have everything controlled, you know, it will sell well. 
there are so many ways that you can make money out of it. Let's say, for instance, if you build an art school just to educate people, you get money out of it. You can support someone who is coming up. They see it as I don't know how to describe it. Just you just take a, a pencil, draw, paint, and something nice. That's it. The European understand more paintings than Ghanaians, but some of them they, they like the painting. Some of them also they they are like they may be quiet and what am I going to do with this painting? I can't put a blame on them. They've not been educated about art, so they don't understand it. They don't know it. So what do people, Ghanaians and expatriates, make of paintings? It's, it's very challenging to, to understand how Ghanaians appreciate art because, you know, I study painting and my dad is an artist, so I find it very easy to engage with art. But for some people who are not into art, they find it difficult to understand. Painting for me is an expression of a deep uh, appreciation of how nature is all about. Yeah, I like painting. Drawing, anything really, it just has to speak to you. I do, I do like art a lot, yes. So, and actually, gone in art is really nice. I would, if I had a big container, I would take a lot more with me. But. Yeah, and they're great. I think artwork in Ghana really speaks to the culture. No, I don't have one in my house for now, but I'll be getting one very soon. I'll be getting a lot of them, not one. I actually have it at home in the US on my wall uh, for my first time in Ghana. Um, actually, I did, I did a health presentation to a grade 3 class in a village and the instructor just surprised me with one of his wood carvings and it was amazing. It was so authentic and it had a, a lady with a baby strapped on her back and I think that really represents what Ghana is. I, I was having difficulty to sell my work in Ghana so mostly my work is my work is sold in Europe and America. So what I do as an artist is I decided to move out from my studio and you know engage public in the process of my work. So that in my community I believe that a lot of people understand what art is. For now, yes, because I believe you have like you've been traveling around Europe and you see what people are doing and it's also becomes your work. So I think that means that these are the quite good work. Some of us want to try painting because we have passion for it, we love it. Art is who we are. Yeah. I mean, the, the most highest African selling artist is a Ghanaian. So I think that it's also a good representation of Ghanaian art. Compassion and appreciation for the art affects sales of paintings and artworks in general. Things may not be so encouraging now, but those with great love for the arts are quite optimistic about the future of painting business in Ghana. You might not want to change your career plans now, but you might consider changing your perception about paintings and further change your investment plans into painting. There can never be development without art.